Barry says, love the show. Do you have any more wrestling, uh, Mr. Wrestling 2 stories? I've read the ones on your website. I'm just wondering if you knew of or heard of any more, good or bad. So uh, we were talking off air again. We established that you had wrestled in, uh, well, quite a few times, and I believe the quote was from the previous clip, a butthole. Uh, it yeah. wouldn't give you, you know, wouldn't give you anything, and uh, it was just difficult to deal with. But there are other stories about him being a butthole as well. Yeah, well, the guy who gave me the advice about how to how to handle <clears throat> Johnny Walker, I always thought Johnny Walker was a a liquor Johnny Walker, but he but he told me, and I didn't know it at the time, but the great Mephisto. He was the one telling me, he said, listen, if you ever work with him again, he said, you can fix that problem real easy. I'm, I'm green. I'm young. I'm going, how? How? He says, just let him take you in a headlock, take you over. And he said, just lay down. I said, lay down? What do you mean? He said, don't do nothing. I said, what do you mean don't do nothing? He said, are you dumb? Are you deaf? I said, let him take you over and just lay down. If he caught something, just, just lay there. He said, he'll start working with you. And this taught me a lesson, and it worked. We used to do Atlanta TV, I don't know, about 11 o'clock in the morning. We'd go live, at, not live, but we'd do the taping at 12, or something like that. And then we would <clears throat> get in the car from Atlanta TV, Channel 17, and we would drive all the way to Columbus, Georgia, which is about 100 miles or so. Go straight to another TV taping that wasn't at the TV station, but they had a building set up to record TV. And we'd do, on, on a Saturday, we would do Atlanta TV, Columbus TV, and a house show that night. <clears throat> so we would wrestle three times on Saturday. So I got down to Columbus and I looked on the wall. The matches were posted. Guess who I had? Wrestling two. I said, again? And I thought like maybe the Atlanta office and the, they were different offices. At Columbus would just use the talent from Atlanta. That's all they, they wouldn't, they didn't have their own guys. So they just used Atlanta talent. So in Mephisto, he looked at me and he said, who you got? I says, wrestling too. I said, all right, just remember what I told you. So I went out there. And when he went out there, all the people just went wild when they saw wrestling too. And then when they saw me, I got, more than I thought I'd get. And like, boo, you, blah, blah. We got <clears> the <throat> ring and we lock up. And he takes me over in a headlock. And just like Mephisto, the great Mephisto told me, Frankie Kane was his name, I laid down. <laughs> so you got to fix this. Wrestling two's got the headlock on me. And and the people just quieting down because hell, there's nothing happening. There's nothing to, people just don't jump up for no reason and yell or raise their voices. Something's got to be going on. And he says, get up. Well, I didn't do nothing. I just laid there. He said, pull it again. Come on, kid, get up. I wouldn't get up. He says, now he's, now they're, they've been quiet for about 30 seconds now. Now he's panicking. He went, come on, kid, get up. I says, Johnny, listen. <laughs> Just like that, I said, why don't we do it this way? I'll get up. But if you'll sell some of my stuff, we can have a match. But if you're going to do like you did this morning, just beat me right here. And when he heard that, he agreed to it. I got up. I punched him one time. He sold it. I, I swear to God, I like to, I like to cheer. I almost went, woohoo. 
Mm-hmm. He's doing something. And now the people <clears throat> got with it a little bit. So I start beating him up and getting a little steam on him. And then the people start reacting. And we do a finish, one, two, three, and he beats me again. But at least, at least I put up a fight against him. And we go back to the dressing room. And he was a real butthole in Atlanta because he didn't shake my hand. Um, but then he came he came over to the side where I was. It still didn't shake my hand, but he said, thanks, kid, and went on. Because I think I embarrassed him. And Mephisto, I remember looking at me, and he says, what did I tell you? He worked a little bit, didn't he? See, the match wasn't about four minutes. But what he wanted to do was go out there and just beat me up for four minutes. Well, I wouldn't beat him, but at least make me a credible opponent because I still got to make a living there too. But if I get on TV and I'm treated just like, you know, just a regular guy down the street that gets beaten three minutes, what threat does that make me? So anyway, he, uh, I don't think he ever liked me. After, I don't think he liked me before, but he damn sure didn't like me after that. And I never worked with him again. When did the fight between Mr. Wrestling 2 and Mephisto, the great Mephisto, happen? Not long. Well, that happened about um, three weeks later, two weeks later, maybe. I've told that story, right? No, I don't think you've told that one. What did I tell the one? Yes. I've told it twice. Uh, The one I just told. I think I think you told that like a year ago on like a year old podcast. Oh, okay. But I mean, okay. we need to set it up anyway. We need to set okay. that up to set up the fight between the two. Megan, Georgia, we go in there. They had a nice building, and wrestling too. He didn't say nothing to me. He was sitting over there. I was sitting here. I wasn't against him this night, but Mephisto was against him. So, huh. so I'm thinking, whoa. And I didn't know it at the time, but they had had heat from a long time ago, years ago. But they never got over it. See, Mephisto used to be a pro boxer, but he was well past his prime. He was a little heavy, and but he could still he could still throw fists. He he could throw hands. So they had a match, and I went out and watched it. And it looked okay to me, but. I went back to the dress room and sat down and Johnny Walker come in first. He was kind of right across from me, but down a ways. And Mephisto dressed on the other side of the dressing room, but I could see him. In come uh, wrestling too, and he's raising hell. That GD, uh, he was cussing. What the F, blah, 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 blah. And you could hear him all over the dressing room and Mephisto got up and he said, What's the matter, Johnny? What's the matter? He said, what the fuck happened out there? He said, what are you talking about? He said, you know, when I was, I said, he said, no, let's, let's go back in here. And they went through, it's the bathroom, really. And they closed the door. Well, I heard a bunch of screaming and bam, uh, back and forth. Ah, nah, nah. And then all of a sudden I heard boom, boom. Like somebody hitting the door. And the door opened about 10 seconds later. And Mephisto walked out (laughs) and he just looked at me and he didn't, no expression or nothing on his face. He just looked at me and the door was still closed. And then about 30 seconds later, here come wrestling too. And he had his, he had his mask still on. His nose was bleeding. He was cut over here. So what happened? He took Frankie back in that room and they got into a fight. And Frankie just punched him out. So, and right then, Russell too grabbed his keys, grabbed his bag, left in his wrestling outfit with his mask on, and he was gone. And I never heard him more about it. Nothing else happened about it. So I, he didn't I leave asked, the territory. Did he just go to the next town? No, he went home. And you know, it's not far from home. And, Mephisto went home that night. So I asked him the day, I said, what, uh, the next day, what happened? He said, well, he was just upset about the match, but he's going to come in there. And he said, no, you don't, you're not going to treat me like hell. I just started yesterday. I've known him years ago. And then he told me the story where they, I forgot what it was now, 
but him and Johnny had had a run in years ago and apparently they never got over it or wrestling too never got over it. So that's what he, that's what he got. Do you know who, reportedly, do you know who loved wrestling too? It was Ole Anderson and he loved nobody, but apparently Ole was a big uh, wrestling too fan. Was it just styles that he just liked? Probably. But also, Johnny probably didn't treat Ole like he treated everybody else. He probably kissed up a little bit. And Ole knew he was an old timer and he could, and he knew him in Charlotte. He knew him a long time ago before they even got, got to Atlanta. So, hey, you know who, who else loved wrestling too? Cool. It's a historical question. Mm. President Jimmy Carter. <laughs> No, there's pictures of them. And they invited, this is a story now. I don't know if you've ever heard this. They wanted him to attend maybe the inauguration or some kind of a dinner in Washington, D.C. Was this the same one that Jim Barnett was at? What, the inauguration? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I think Barnett was there, but they wouldn't let him go. You know why? He 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 refused to take the mask off, and I'm thinking, you know, I think I would have kind of took the mask off just to go, just to see what it's like. But he didn't want to reveal his identity because he's so world known, and so he didn't go. Did you ever meet Tim Woods wrestling one? I met him once or twice. Good guy. I mean, he was nothing like. Uh, Johnny was nothing like him, uh, totally different personalities. Hell, Tim Wood, you could actually have a conversation with, but not with the wrestling, too. You couldn't, not with Johnny Walker. I couldn't, anyway. I don't think he just liked me. It's because you're hanging around the festival, I guess. You'd have an out, you know, association or something like that. But well, we all that could have been a reason. Seriously. Yeah. Because he, he didn't like Mephisto. Probably saw me or heard that I was riding with Mephisto and took an instant dislike to me. 